We're asked to solve the system of differential equations y prime equals 2x and x prime equals x plus y with initial conditions x of 0 equals 1 and y of 0 equals 3. Both x and y are functions of t. Beginning with the first equation, y prime equals 2x, if we differentiate both sides with respect to t, we have y double prime equals 2x prime. And now using the second equation, we know x prime is equal to x plus y, which gives us y double prime is equal to two times the quantity x plus y. Distributing, we have y double prime is equal to two x plus two y. And now going back to our first equation, we know y prime is equal to two x, and therefore we can write the differential equation as y double prime equals y prime plus two y. We should recognize this as a second order linear homogeneous differential equation with constant coefficients. And therefore we can solve this using a characteristic equation, but we first need to set the right side of the equation equal to zero by subtracting y prime and subtracting two y on both sides. This gives us y double prime minus y prime minus two y equals zero. And the corresponding Characteristic equation is r squared minus r minus two equals zero, which we can solve by factoring. The factors of r squared are r and r. The factors of negative two that add to negative one are negative two and positive one, giving us roots or solutions of two or negative one. Because we have two distinct real roots, the general solution is in the form of, in our case, y of t, is equal to c1 e to the 2t plus c2 e to the negative t. And now let's work on determining x of t. We know from the first equation that y prime is equal to 2x, multiplying both sides by 1 half, we have x equals 1 half times y prime. And since we know y, we simply need to determine y prime, then multiply by 1 half. So x or x of t, is equal to one half times y prime. Y prime is equal to c1 e to the two t times two, or two c1 e to the two t, and then plus c2 e to the negative t times negative one, or minus c2 e to the negative t. Distributing, we have x of t equals c1 e to the two t minus one half c2 e to the negative t. Now that we have the general solution to the system of differential equations, we now need to determine C1 and C2 using the initial conditions. Let's do this on the next slide. Using the initial condition x of zero equals one in the equation for x, we substitute zero for t and set the function value equal to positive one. This gives us C1 e to the zero minus one half C2 e to the zero equals one. Simplifying, we have C1 minus one half C2 equals one. And now using y of zero equals three, in the equation for y, we substitute zero for t and set the function value equal to positive three. This gives us C1 e to the zero plus C2 e to the zero equals three. Simplifying, we have C1 plus C2 equals three. To solve the system, let's go ahead and multiply the first equation by positive two so the C2 terms are opposites. This gives us two C1 minus C2 equals two. I'll leave the second equation the same. Adding the two equations together, we have three C1 equals five. Dividing both sides by three, we have C1 equals five thirds. Well, if C1 equals five thirds, and C1 plus C2 is equal to three, which is nine thirds, we now know C2 is equal to four thirds. And now we go back and substitute five thirds for C1 and four thirds for C2. This gives us X of T is equal to five thirds e to the two T, and then minus one half times four thirds is two thirds, giving us minus two thirds e to the negative T. And for Y of T, we have Y of T equals five thirds e to the two t plus c two, which is four thirds, giving us plus four thirds e to the negative t. This is the solution to the system 
of differential equations that also satisfies the initial conditions. I hope you found this helpful.